TikToker Madeline Pendleton is currently under attack by the skincare community on TikTok. And this has even transferred over to Twitter at this point where I was made aware of this silly little scandal when a skincare expert and esthetician shared their thoughts about why Madeline is wrong for not washing her face on the daily. Hello, it's me. This is Paint and Sip, where we draw and talk about the internet and pop culture. And while we explore this topic, I invite anyone to make art along with me while we chat and hang out. And if you want to share what you made with me, you can send it to me on Instagram or Twitter at Paint and Sip YT, and I would love to reshare it or retweet it. And finally, before getting started, I would like to thank Literal E, Yuki Yeller, Fabian, and Teal for supporting my $5 tier on Patreon. Your support helps me keep making fun animal art and stickers that get to serve as the art benefits for my Patreon tears and as always everything is linked in the description and with that I'm ready to get started if you are. Madeline is a pretty big TikToker which you may have seen at least a couple times on your For You page over the years if you are a regular TikTok user like me. When she shows up on my For You page it's usually content centered around ethical employment practices, her small business, financial advice, or just life advice in general. But today, as I was scrolling through Twitter, I unexpectedly saw Madeline being called out by an esthetician for one of her recent TikToks where she responds to a fan asking for her skincare routine because she looks so much younger than 36, according to the person who asked about her skincare routine. And Madeline explained that she does not really have a skincare routine. Here's the TikTok. Oh uh, yeah, so I'm 36, I am the opposite of a skincare girly, and when I tell you why, you are probably gonna get really mad. I mean, number one, let's be real, I don't think there's anything wrong with looking your age or looking older. I think this desire to keep especially feminine people looking super young is rooted in a strained patriarchal thing that, like, values femininity for its youth and purity. And if we follow that line of thinking, it gets into some real creepy shit. <laughs> Uh, number two, kind of going along with that, there seems to be this myth that, like, once you pass 25, you just instantly become, like, an old crone or something. But, you know, to my knowledge, this is just what people in their 30s look like. This is what my friends look like. Your 30s are actually just still, yeah, pretty young. And number three, this is the big one that people are not gonna want to hear, but it is scientifically true. All those skincare things that people do, yeah, most of them are scams. And I'm not just saying that um, because I have really bad ADHD and can't even be reminded to take off my makeup before bed, uh, let alone to wear things like sunscreen or drink water throughout the day. I am running off of 99% iced coffee at any given moment. And the only sunscreen that ever touches my body, uh, it does so because it's in my foundation. I'm not using moisturizers. I'm not using serums. <laughs> Most days I'm not even washing my face if I'm being perfectly frank and honest. And I don't feel bad about it. I don't feel bad about it because there is no scientific evidence to support like the majority of skincare rituals that people swear by. Now, as a ritual in your life, I think it's great. I think it's nice to do things for yourself that make you feel good. I think if you like having a skincare routine, if you like putting creams and salves on your face, you should do that. And nobody should stop you from doing that. My real problem with this though is that one, a lot of people do it because they think there's something horrible about looking older. And two, a lot of people spend a lot of money that they don't need to that maybe is putting them in a financially bad position because they are believing these fraudulent claims that these skincare companies put on their packaging. Like, you know how skincare people will say like, in clinical trials, it improved the blah, 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 this person's skin by blah, blah, blah percent. Most of those are scam claims because what these companies do is come up with their marketing statements first, then reach out to these companies that conduct weird fake tests that basically support whatever the marketing claim is. They work backwards from the claim in ways shrouded in mystery that nobody understands. When actual scientists, like actual research dermatologists look into skin care. They say the only product that actually has been proven to work at all in changing anything about your skin is that type of vitamin C serum you can only get from prescription. And that stuff, they say, only improves some people's skin and only 10%. And improves is big air quotes here because by improves, we're obviously using the cultural standard of meaning it just makes you look younger, which is pretty weird and icky. Aside from that, really the only thing that protects your skin from damage is just sunscreen, which we've already established I forget to put on like every day. So it wasn't the fact that Madeline doesn't use skincare products alone that got her in trouble online, but it was more so the idea that she claimed skincare products are scams and there's no scientific evidence to support the majority of skincare rituals except one product that you need a prescription for that can help reduce the appearance of fine lines and sunscreen. Madeline also took this as an opportunity to explain their belief that the skincare industry and society in general has convinced people that we should look old in our 30s and beyond unless we have an extensive and expensive skincare routine. 
Basically, from my interpretation, Madeline wasn't preaching about the pros of not having a skincare routine, but she was more so critiquing skincare marketing strategies. Despite this, Madeline was critiqued on Twitter by the skincare experts. This esthetician tweeted, There are people who have an entire career around this stuff. I think you guys have more beef with the marketing claims instead of the chemistry, but are mistaking the two. Marketers can exaggerate on claims, but that doesn't mean skincare itself is a scam and there's no science behind it. Other Twitter users tried to rebuttal this with somebody responding with, What's wrong with this? Because I heard the same sentiment from Madeline's TikTok from my dermatologist. In the end though, Madeline's TikTok did get enough pushback that she ended up privating the TikTok and posting an updated response and here is what she said. I offended the skincare girlies of Twitter. Uh, so I'm trying to work and it's late and I haven't got much done because of it. So I had to make um, my videos private. So if you're looking for them, that's where they are. And if you're not looking for them and you're wondering what's happened, I literally just said like most anti-aging products are a scam and there's only like one thing that works and it only reduces the appearance of fine lines like 10% and everything else is fake except for sunscreen. And now everyone wants my head on a pike. Whoops. <laughs> The comments seem pretty supportive so far, of course, because most people responding at this point are her fans and followers, so that makes sense. But people are mostly just echoing the sentiment that healthy skin is less dependent on anti-aging products and more dependent on genetics, hydration, lifestyle, and sunscreen, basically. And I mean, I agree. <laughs> Don't cancel me or anything, but I am literally the same way. My skincare routine consists of letting the shampoo from my hair run down my face in the shower and maybe putting on a little lotion on after the shower. <laughs> I'm also guilty of oftentimes falling asleep in my makeup and just washing it off in the shower the next day, but I just cannot be bothered to have a huge skincare routine when I'm when what I'm doing currently is just working just fine for me. Not to call up my mom though, but she's one of those people who has like a million trillion products and really cares about what's going on in her skin and tries to find the best anti-aging products. Even though my whole life I watched her get carded for everything everywhere through her 20s and her 30s and her 40s and people are constantly thinking we are sisters and people are constantly shocked when they learn that I'm actually her daughter because my mom does not look old enough to have a 25 year old even though she's 49 I think. And obviously I have nothing against her for her skincare routine so why are we judging each other online? I don't judge my mom and she doesn't judge me and we do like the opposite skincare routines. <laughs> I just think not washing your face every day is a victimless crime. So why is this such a scandal? <laughs> anyway, apparently critics just kept going and wouldn't let up because Madeline just posted another update and it's a little more direct than the first one. <laughs> Here it is. How is it surprising that I don't wash my face? I think maybe Dolls Kill has like rotted everybody's perception of subculture or something. So for clarification, no, I don't look like this in like a Dolls Kill girly pop fashion weirdo way. I look like this in the I lived in a punk squat in my 20s way and to even use the bathroom, you had to one, hope someone had paid the power bill that week and two, step over a mouse spleen to get into the shower. Most of my hygiene tips came from a crust punk named Dirty Travis. One time someone broke into my car and all they did was throw Taco Bell hot sauce packets around because that was all that was in my car. Am I, am I starting to paint a picture? My hygiene goal is just not to smell too bad. Just get a perfume and just <sighs> Human bodies are disgusting and revolting and I love that about them. Uh, yeah, so no, it should not be surprising to anyone that I don't wash my face that often. And it also shouldn't be shocking uh, that I say that I think everybody's obsession and fascination with feminine people being like uh, very young looking weirds me out. I think it weirds me out. So I get a little defensive, yeah, when people are like, you look so young. What's your skincare routine? There's no, no, there's no skincare routine, bestie. Society's just tricked you into thinking people in their 30s who are feminine are supposed to look like old crones or hags or something. So basically, people are just being mean and calling people dirty. And all I gotta say is, who cares and I mean like I care about the drama because the drama is silly and we as people naturally like to gossip and talk about things that are going on but who cared enough in the first place to turn this into an issue why who are you and why are you so offended that a stranger on the internet only washes their face every couple of days and doesn't use retinols and moisturizers let me know and let me know what you think and I hate outros so okay bye